There's been a lot of discussion about this story. It almost seems too good to be true uh, uh, for somebody to survive a five and a half hour flight in a will well at 38,000 feet. He would have crawled right up this. So you've got these four huge wheels in this massive landing gear right here. And when this landing gear retracts uh, all the way up, probably less than a foot of space wide to really fit into. It's, it's an incredibly narrow space where somebody's just going to be almost in the fetal position for five and a half hours. Ugh. He could wedge himself right here because the tires will come to right here, right to the edge of this. He'd have to kind of be slumped over almost like this to, uh, to survive. And if the plane hit any kind of turbulence, I mean, it'd be like riding a roller coaster without a seat belt. Uh, when the plane goes to land, those tires just drop, but I mean, they don't slowly retract, they, they drop. And uh, when those tires drop, you, you drop with them. I mean, it's, the plane's flying at 300 miles an hour, you know, in a low oxygen environment. No, you are not gonna be able to hold on to that tire. That's, that's not gonna work. Uh, my theory is it's a bit of a miracle. I mean, it, uh, there's almost no oxygen at 30,000, 38,000 feet. Uh, freezing cold temperatures, 50 degrees below zero. I mean, he, uh, it's a miracle. He, he got incredibly lucky.